assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to clinic management system tutorials today is our lecture number 14 and in today's class i'm going to demonstrate the checkup window uh, the continuous part that is part number two and then uh, we i'll also tell you one uh, one change that is the test window and uh, i have some other tasks that i have changed in this particular lecture so i will uh, definitely demonstrate in front of you people so uh, let's start and have a look what we have today Alright, so this is my home screen and here if you notice in the previous lecture I didn't have that this window okay so I have created this window and in this window I have taken three uh, text boxes that is the test name that, mean, that means when the, the doctor will recommend any test or lab scan or ultrasound or any diagnostic so uh, whatever the text test or scan or x-ray will be the doctor or the uh, related staff can add these uh, test and scans here at this particular window okay so by default this window is uh, empty so I'm going to add let's say uh, I'm going to add a, a test that urine DR let's say okay a test that is recommended by doctors let's say the price of the test is 500 rupees and then the precautions uh, let's say drink water much or drink much water okay so click save so you can see uh, the data is added here and when you click here so one thing that is remaining that when you click here so, so the data should be loaded at this particular point okay so all the crude operations and the tables I have already created and I, I am expecting from you people that uh, a, a similar window you can create by yourself because uh, in the last uh, so many lectures you have seen this similar methodology but still I can show you the table that I have created for the test so that's my table and that's my insert stored procedure i'm going i'm uh, i hope you can uh, understand uh, what this que what these queries are and this is my update uh, and then this is my delete and then this is my get te tests okay and i have created that table and executed these commands successfully after that what i have done i have created a button here at this particular point and changed the icon and then uh, opened that window on this button click i i hope you know how to open the window I have placed these controls these are disabled by default I have made them disabled now let me show you the code uh, at this particular point so let us go first to the medicine window and I am picking up this code on the cell cell grid cell click ok so why I have copied this because everything is same in our uh, software so uh, let us click on this grid and cell go to the events and then click on the cell click ok so that's my event and paste it here and here you need to get the test ID from the grid view so here you can write the test ID GV and then double quote should be closed and then the test test text box and then here you should write test GV and then you need the price okay price text and here you should write price GV and then you can write here precaution text <coughs> dot text so that's the remaining task that I'm completing in front of you so prec GV or precautions GV okay <coughs> so all things are now set on the grid click that's done now let us see final test window so login tests view you can see the tests are there and when you click here so the test is appearing here when you click edit it is editable you can change the format that these uh, should not appear at this particular point so you can make the round off and the, the other things so let me do that also so come here at the price and then uh, open this grid edit columns go to the price go to the default cell style and go to the format and here go to the browse and then click numeric and then if you select currency then uh, uh, it should become the null value should be zero and the decimal places should become this okay but uh, if uh, currency will add the rupees uh, symbol at this particular point but I don't want to see the rupees symbol so I'm just uh, taking the numeric one and then click OK and then click OK and then click OK so what will happen the amount will be displayed uh, without zeros uh, the precision zeros basically the point zeros after the point so let me show you that login 
and then uh, I'll I'll definitely come back to this window right after this test window. So view. Now you can see the data is still coming like this. So you, there at this particular point, you have to format it now. So how can you remove that zeros from that uh, particular uh, price text? So uh, convert it first. Convert dot to double, and then put it inside this, and then specify here math class dot round and round brackets are open and it is asking you the decimal so you said the double i have passed the double then comma then how many points to round off zero and then that's it and then dot two string because i am mentioning it in the price text now it's fine and then see that because uh, there is a round figure always uh, when we are doing at th uh, this type of tasks so login tests view click I hope it is clear to everyone now. Okay, and now you can edit and you can add further tests also. Let me add and let me save. So validations are also there. So I hope it is clear to everyone. So urine, let's say urine CR. Uh, there are two types of these tests. Let's say this is 600 rupees and drink water. Okay, and then click save. So th now I have two tests uh, that I have. You can do the search task also here. So now what I wanted to do, uh, why I have created this test window, let me go to the checkup window again and what I have done extra at this particular point, let me show you. So when you are coming here, at on today's date, I don't have any uh, patient. So I'm going to the previous date and when I come here, so uh, because therefore, just for demonstration purpose, okay, uh, we, do, we do not go to the previous dates, but just for the sake of demonstration, I'm doing this. So uh, today I'm go not going to add another a new patient in fact i am taking the previous patient of the previous date and i have selected so how this data is coming what i have changed let me show you and when i click this call uh, so the data is also coming at this point so what i have done let me show you let us go to the uh, checkup window okay uh, i hope you can do the test window code by yourself it's same as medicine window okay just change the tables and the parameters so let us go to the checkup window. At this point, what I have done in the previous lecture, you might have seen this code, this only this code written on this event, written inside this event. So what I have done, I have picked up, I have cut it that this code from load and I have created a function load today's patient and pasted it here why i have done this because i have to recall this function or recall this code somewhere somewhere else so that's why to avoid repetition of the code i have cut it from the load and i have pasted it from uh, uh, inside this fun particular new function that i have created and one more thing that i have added here is uh, this patient underscore uh, patient drop down to data store is equal to null so because every time when you assign new data the previous data should become null so that's why i have assigned this now where what, uh, where i should call this is the place that i was uh, doing this particular task on load the patients of today will be uh, loaded inside the combo box but uh, let me show you uh, one other uh, place that's this one so when you uh, your, when your focus enters uh, let me show you at this uh, on this screen when you come at this patient and you have changed the date so load event will not run so in fact uh, at this at that point you have to call that patients again and again so for that purpose i have mentioned the focus enter event by going to the events and that's my focus enter event okay and here what i have done i have recalled this load today's patient this one that's why i have created this function okay so you can also do this by yourself and then on load it is also working and on patient enter it is also working as I have shown you I displayed you and now call patient here I have created another function get patient info so let me take you to the get patient info that's my function here get patient info here I have created a procedure get patient guardian and age so let me show you get patient guardian and age um, where is that procedure let me show you refresh and select your procedure from the list okay so uh, get uh, patient guardian and um, the age 
why I have created a separate parameter because I don't have anything related to this and with respect to the patient registration ID okay so uh, from the patient registration details I am picking up the guardian of that patient and the age of that patient and then I am displaying them with the help of this code and in this code what I have done I have passed the patient ID and based on that ID the data will be picked up and it will be displayed with the help of the data reader SQL data reader okay uh, and if the data exists then it will be displayed in the father text at zero index why this is zero uh, this zero means the first column and the one means the age column I hope it is clear to everyone so that's why I have done this uh, no need to write here exception remove and then save and that's it so get patient info when you when you click this call patient okay that the info of that patient should be displayed uh, at this particular point for the for the uh, sake of the doctor's background knowledge now uh, furthermore when you call the patient uh, that patient's last appointments and the consulted to and the blood pressure and then all these things should be loaded so the patient history for that purpose what I have done I have created some tables uh, with respect to the prescription with respect to the labs and scans and tests and with respect to the diseases and symptoms and I have to create one more table uh, that is the checkup table and where you should store the pulse and the temperature and the blood glucose of that particular uh, patient okay so let me show you what tables I have done I have created for you uh, in this particular lecture so look if you notice this code and if I zoom out it okay so you can see completely now okay let me close this one so that you can be able to clear see it more clearly okay now it's fine so patient internal prescription so that's not internal prescription basically that's patient's prescription because uh, I have passed the medicine ID and uh, every medicine ID has its type that it is internal or external so uh, I have created a, par a, a column called patient uh, prescription or uh, before I have created patient internal prescription that's why I have uh, given a short name that PIP underscore ID and that's big integer that is identity and that is primary key that's specific for this particular table and then the appointment ID because you the checkup is based on that particular appointment so the appointment ID and appointment ID belongs to some patient or definitely let me show you the relationships in the appointment at every appointment ID that you have you have the patient ID also and the, all the related things as well so that's why in fact of the patient ID I have used the appointment ID and I have referenced it and I have make the relationship between the appointment and the prescription patient prescription at which appointment which prescription of the patient should be there and then the medicine ID at that uh, <coughs> uh, what should be the medicine that the doctor has provided uh, should be stored inside this so this is how you can do so similarly I have created the patient symptoms and the reason behind why I have created separate tables because these things are separate everything may vary let's say there are two medicines and the symptoms are 10 so they cannot be stored in one single table there are two diseases and there are four symptoms so you cannot be uh, able to judge it or dynamically do it so that's why I have created separate tables so look the table remains the same just the last thing the symptoms ID table uh, the uh, any, uh, symptoms ID I have added and it belongs to the symptoms table I have created in the previous lectures also <coughs> now the disease so disease table is also there and the rest of the rings remains the same and just referenced with the disease table and last is the patient uh, test and now at this point that is why I have created the test window so that I can be able to link and join the test ID okay so test ID that is integer foreign key and here you can write tests go to the object explorer and open that test table with that let me refresh the tables okay so that's my test and the column name is t underscore id and the data type is integer and that's it so here you can now create the patient test so whatever at that appointment uh, the doctor has recommended the test so uh, that test will be stored with the help of that particular table so you don't need to add again and again the same test that's why I have created the test table so uh, this is how uh, you can uh, insert uh, when the doctor is uh, doing appointment and checking up the patient 
we will we will be adding uh, inside these tables we will be inserting the diseases with respect to that patient we will be uh, adding the prescriptions internally or externally with respect to that patient and all that okay and then one more table that i must create here is the pulse temperature and blood glucose so for that purpose i have to create a table create table patient pulse temperature and glucose okay so this should be uh, at this should be done for every appointment so for that purpose what you have to do you have to copy this whole thing okay copy and paste it so pptg is the shortcut so pp i am going to write just uh, naming convention no need to worry about this so at this point uh, what you need you need nothing in fact uh, you need simple pp underscore um, pulse so write watch r 10 and then pp underscore temperature i'm making watch r because uh, i'm not sure about the units so you have to be you have to work on this and then then you have to specify temperature should be in centigrade right um, or fahrenheit what you can be specify and the glucose the measuring units you can specify data type with respect to that okay so that's it and it should be not null it should be not null it also should be not null okay so uh, based on that appointment id of that patient the pulse the temperature the glucose will be recorded inside this table so look guys in this one particular window how many data you are going to manage <coughs> at the back end now uh, what we have to do we have to create the insert procedures for the things that we have here and we have to load the diseases we have to load the symptoms and uh, we have to load the uh, uh, medicines uh, with respect to the uh, internal and external so do we have that no we have only the patients so what you can do we can do the load diseases so um, crude dot load list and then specify the procedure I'm going to load the symptoms and the disease first I think yes the diseases are the first thing so let us come here and get diseases here we have that procedure okay so you can see here that all the diseases are appearing so what I can do I can copy this and I can come here and then paste it so and then what it is asking me the combo box so do I have the combo box yes I have the disease combo box because the UI is so much heavier that's why the window is loading uh, and taking time so that's my uh, now I have to give the naming conventions at this point so this is my disease combo box okay and then uh, come at this point and write here disease combo box comma then what it is asking you the just value member so the value member is ID so write here ID and then the display member is disease so copy and paste and then what it is asking you if you, it is asking you the hash table so for that purpose create a blank hash table because you don't need to uh, pass any parameters so hash table and then simply pass the hash table this is of no use at this point because the hash table is empty the loop will not run and the parameters will not pass simple and then after this what you can do you can uh, when you select the disease or uh, when you uh, come at the particular where, where, where I should go yes uh, at the bottom symptoms okay so if I show you the disease uh, diseases sorry symptoms where is that symptoms here we have symptoms so you can notice uh, one symptom uh, be, uh, one symptom it belongs to many diseases okay and one disease can have many symptoms so uh, there are so much options so I have picked up this scenario right now 
so what you can do you can uh, based on the disease you can uh, load the symptoms so uh, this is the way that you can be able to get only those symptoms that belongs to that particular disease so what i can do i can uh, load all the symptoms simple first where disease is, is equals to that so uh, let's come here and then um, let us select get symptoms specify the symptoms Be at this point you are getting all the symptoms okay all right so you can notice that i have created this also also uh, already in the previous lectures so let us come and copy this and paste it in instead of get diseases right copy get symptoms i am loading right now all the symptoms you can load the symptoms with respect to disease okay by specifying the where clause it's up to you now the symptom id is the display value member and the symptom is the well display member okay and here it should become symptoms drop down so let me rename it symptoms <coughs> drop down or combo box okay and now paste it or give here name symptoms combo box so what will happen on load uh, these uh, this data will be loaded all right so i have loaded the these things now what else we have to load from the database that is the uh, tests that we have already added and <coughs> we have to load the medicines also so let us come here and um, rename it to prisk internal combo box and prescription external combo box <coughs> okay and then that's my test combo box test combo box now uh, we have to come here and load the details so one more thing copy paste and what i wanted to load i wanted to load the get medicines okay so do we have get medicine yes but i wanted to get medicine with respect to the type all right so uh, get medicine uh, medicines i am copying this procedure and then new query and then paste and write here st underscore get medicine with respect to type okay so t y p e type that's it and then uh, write here create procedure and then remove this and from medicine and then where m dot type is equals to at the rate type and you have to pass a parameter at this point so at the rate type integer tiny integer that's it and then uh, execute commands completed successfully so copy and then come here and then you have to write here this and you have to write here uh, prescription internal cb and then the display member the medicine and the id is the value member sorry id and then uh, the value member is this and then the hash table so now this time i have to create a hash table with the parameter so hash table st1 is equals to new hash table because st is already there st1 dot add and then you have to pass double quotes and what you have to pass here at the rate type so at the rate type comma and then the value is uh, let's say zero and then you have to pass here st1 simple okay so what will happen only uh, the medicines with the type internal will be added in uh, will be loaded inside this internal okay and then copy and then come here and paste and then simple you have to change the hash table and you have to change the hash table to to 
or you can use this as one and then the same just change the press external and then the id and the medicine and then should become ht2 okay you can use the same uh, hash table uh, with different value at this point but i'm not taking the risk because uh, after you have to then that clear the particular hash table and also then remove so that's why i have created a separate hash table that's easy so uh, get medicine with respect to type so the medicines will be loaded here at this particular point and then uh, you need to load the tests so uh, what you can do you can come here and copy and paste and what else you need to write here that is get test so where is that get test i have already opened let me let me take that get test so here it is copy and then paste and test cv and then the display member value member is id and the display member is test okay and then the hash table is simple ht because ht is blank i haven't added any items in it so that's all uh, you have loaded everything inside these uh, particular symptoms and the prescriptions and all that one more thing that i must change here this is this this dosage uh, i will tell you what how can we do that first let's first check uh, the results so login and first of all go to the medicines view do uh, i have the medicine that is internal okay let me add another medicine let's say regix and the company name let's say abbot and then the type is external so i am going to add an external medicine let's say okay so now i have two medicines and now uh, one is internal one is external and i should i have the test yes i have two tests and do i have the symptoms let me show you yes i have the symptoms do i have the diseases yes i have the disease and you can add for the diseases now let's go to the checkup so the window is now loaded okay guys so click add button and then you have to load the patient let's a 8 uh, and then call the records and right now i don't have any history but i haven't done the code yet i will do that code also first of all see th whether we have yes the diseases are coming here and uh, the symptoms the symptoms are coming here from the database the internal medicine that is coming here that's the demo data okay and the external medicine that is coming here okay and now what you can do you can use this add button to insert inside the uh, disease uh, table inside the prescription table inside this all this oh, and symptoms there are symptoms also okay and now let us go and do that so <coughs> that's my add button so right here disease add button okay so disease add button that's my prescription add button so internal add button and then you have the external add button and then you have the symptom add button so you have to give their names and then you have the test add button test add button and now uh, what else you need to do you uh, double click okay now this my list box so give your name so disease lb and here it should be internal lb it should be external lb and it should be the symptoms lb symptoms list box and then you have to specify the test lb so test lb okay so you have mentioned all the things now what else this is the pulse text so right here pulse text then temperature so temperature text and then you have to add blood text and then um, that's it right now we'll see the further things later and now uh, double click on the disease add button okay what you have to do you have to check if disease combo box dot text 
is not equals to blank or yes dot text not equals to blank then come inside and then what you can do uh, disease lb dot items dot add and add what disease combo box dot text i am not using selected item or selected uh, value because the doctor can add a new disease at this point okay and you can check if uh, disease lb dot selected sorry dot items dot contains and what you wanted to check here uh, disease cb dot text if that text is there and you can ignore case uh, but uh, we will do that the ignore case uh, later ok so uh, if the item contains already if does it is not it, if the item does not exist in the list box ok then add it inside the list box ok and then what you can do uh, you can also uh, verify that uh, the item should not uh, item should uh, should not be there inside the uh, table also so what you can do you can uh, check for the item that is written from the from some query so first of all you have to write crude dot insert update delete and what you need here the procedure so the procedure for insertion disease so disease procedure is i don't ha I, I haven't created the insert yes i have created the ins disease insert procedure so uh, where is that insert disease yes so right click and modify and give it here and the parameters also with respect to that disease okay so copy this name and come here and paste it and then you have to pass the hash table so hash table ht equals to new hash table and then what you need to pass here simple the disease name so um, ht dot add and then parameters that is at the rate name no disease d i s e a s e s e a s e s the correct it is correct and now uh, disease c b dot text ok it should be added inside the combo box and now uh, here you can write the h t ok and then <coughs> check whether the disease exists or not all right so uh, now what i have to do i have to write here um, i was inserting the disease okay but i have to check and i have to make sure that uh, it does not exist so uh, whether with respect to the case also so what you can do you can um, use the string dot equals dot uh, let me check let me check okay so uh, right now i'm uh, i'm i'm only inserting the disease at this point okay but later on i will check whether the disease already exists or not okay so that's what the case that i have to do at every point so right now i am uh, doing this for the sake of this particular recording so uh, uh, what, what will happen when the disease is not available inside the list box uh, it will be added inside the list box and it will be inserted inside the disease table also okay uh, and then what you need to do you need to uh, copy this code and you have to go at this particular point at the add button or what you can also you can also use this same uh, in, instead of doing this insertion at this point you can remove this insertion at this point and when you click the save button then it will be saved okay no need to save at this point so it's simple you have to add these diseases at this point now that's fine so let us go to the internal prescription so double come here and then write uh, internal add button sorry uh, what's that combo box press internal cb so you have to write press internal cb okay dot text if it's not empty if if it is not empty then the disease infective disease you can write the combo box the list box that is internal lb so you can write internal lb dot items dot contains what uh, this text so copy 
and paste and here you can write internal lb dot items dot add and what you wanted to add this uh, combo box text okay now that's fine so copy it and then come here and then paste at the external button and then here you have to change it to press external cb dot text and external lb is the list box copy it and you have to add the items in the external lb and here you have to write press external combo box dot text and copy and copy paste now uh, internal external is done and now you have to do on the tests so for that purpose come here copy and then paste and then here you have to write the tests combo box and here you can write test lb and copy this test lb and paste it here and here you can write test cb okay so that the text of that combo box will be picked up and now the symptoms so double click on the symptoms and then copy and then paste and here you can write symptom combo box and symptom list box copy paste and copy and paste so that's it uh, I have done all the things on my particular checkup window so let's see what's the result okay, so login uh, let's go to the checkup window here you can go to the add and then select your patient and then call the records and then disease cuff add and when you select again cuff and add look it is not adding so cuff is added one time so that's what I am trying to do similarly let's say I have symptoms okay added okay symptom is not adding I think I haven't done the code at symptoms look it is added and it is also added so these two tests that doctor is recommending so to our tasks are simpler add and then the medicine of internal external both are adding let me add the symptoms the symptom is added but it is not showing me correct way in a correct way so why it is not showing me in the correct way let me yes the problem is uh, I haven't changed this test CV at this point so uh, what I have wanted to write here this symptoms and then paste okay so that's it now let us check finally <coughs> so login check up and then click add and when you see you can add it let's check the symptoms okay so the symptoms are now adding okay now let me write some other symptoms let's say um, knee pain and then click add look it is adding okay and when you click knee pain again it is it is not adding so you can add a new symptom also and you can use the existing symptoms that you have inside this okay so uh, I will continue in the next class now uh, the time is about to finish so hope you have understood what things I have done today and you can also follow me uh, up till now and if you don't understand anything, please write me. Thank you so much. Take care. Allah Hafiz.